Okay, everybody, I'm just uh, showing you my BT35 Toyota model for a 2005 Sienna. I'm going to do this in my garage. I've read up a lot on uh, how to install it. It's a little dark in here, but this is the right rear passenger area, and I know that the um, electronic control unit or whatever you call it ECU is back here underneath this guy and I'm gonna pop this off see if I can find it down in there and uh, plug it in and then we'll see if it works before I run the mic cable and uh, come back and let you know how it's going all right I'm back here's the unit I was able to uh, pop out the cup holder just by taking off uh, a couple of screws right there, you can see. Sorry, this flashlight's kind of bright. Those two screws and it popped right out. And then uh, inside here, there's the uh, there's what I'm plugging into right there. So I'm gonna have to fiddle with it. I don't want to take this whole panel off, but I've read on other things it's uh, pretty easy to to get into there. So I'm gonna give it a shot without having to take the whole panel off, and I'm gonna run the run the mic down the wire down through there and kind of pop off that plastic piece down there to see if I can make this easy this so far has taken me just about two minutes worth of work so we're gonna give it a shot come back all right uh, I had to uh, kind of fiddle with this for a little bit but uh, that bottom clip down there that's where I plugged it into you can see the lights at my, my phone's not doing that great it's plugged in. Here's the unit. And all I've got to do is plug in the end of this bad boy to uh, to our BT35 here. So I'm going to plug it in, turn on the uh, ignition, and see if we get some connection. All right, I think I got it all plugged in here. We're going to turn this on to the accessory part of the uh, key ignition area going to uh, see what comes up. This is the first video I think that has a uh, navigation unit in it, so we'll see how this works. I'm supposed to hit disk, I think. And uh, there we go, CD changer. That was never there before. You can see it says CD changer, disk one, uh, track one. So I'm going to see if I can. Uh, stop this turn on the bluetooth on the iphone here that i have the iphone 5 and see if we can get uh, some sound all right uh paired up told me uh told me connected i'm gonna hit scan and it should say something else voice enabled voice enabled all right so here we go i'm gonna try to play something all right back uh, so i've decided to switch over to my wife's iphone 5s uh, so you can actually see what's going on here so um, settings. I'm going to go to uh, Bluetooth and um, let's see what happens. BT35 should pop up there. There it is. I'm going to connect it and uh, should tell us when it's connected here. I'm going to try to play some music, see what it sounds like. Uh, I'm interested to see as much as you guys because I've heard the sound quality isn't that great. Of course, I'm connected. in my garage. There it goes. Connected, says. All right, so we're going to go ahead and come over to Pandora, which is what my wife listens to primarily, and uh, see what kind of sound we get. So I'm just waiting for Pandora to load up. But uh, I know, again, he hit scan. Voice disabled. Voice disabled. Voice enabled. Voice enabled. Again, CD changer never showed up before. All right, so that's a, a little Jack Johnson playing. And it actually doesn't sound that bad. It sounds pretty good. Not as much, not, not as much bass as I'd want, like, as everyone else has said, but not, not bad. And so let me switch it around here again. So this is what showed up on our screen on our navigation. We have JBL system with the uh, rear seat entertainment. So we have the drop down DVD. 
So not a lot of info other than just telling you the version there. But, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, turn turning this up there. Real quick. Let's see if it'll skip. All right, skip to a new song just by uh, using the uh, C cup. So all we gotta do now is uh, plug in the mic. And see, how, see how the phone quality is. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this uh, Bluetooth Sing it loud music. When I go. Sing it proud when I go. That's not even all the way up at all on here. Some people are learning to die and some for people her, are yearning for her to purposes, die. it's really going to work well, I think. So, so far, so good. I'm going to go close up everything, run a mic, cable, I'll tell you how long that took me. And uh, come back and we'll try out a phone um, call. I'm going to try to mount it up here by the uh, rear view mirror. Right up in this area here is what I've been told is a good place. And since I'm having to come from the rear passenger quarter panel, I'm going to have to kind of run it from that A-frame over there, up and over. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll let you know how long it took. Sounds, sounds good so far. Pretty impressed. Again, seek up. Next song. I'm Tom Shane, and well, before we commercial buy our diamonds doors, with usual, the diamond but, uh, cutters. Pretty good. Let's one other thing I was going to add is uh, that uh, uh, I read some other blogs talking about uh, how this little mic cable here that comes with it may not be long enough, and so I went ahead and bought one at Radio Shack here. A little uh, this way you can't read it really. It's a 16-foot connection uh, for the uh, extension. So male to female plug should extend this with no problem. Going from our right rear passenger quarter panel, and you see I've got my little unit. I'm going to tidy that up obviously and close it up, but I didn't have to take off the rear panel, which was nice. I didn't have to take that off, and so I'm going to run my mic wire uh, up around that A-frame, A-pillar, uh, and then um, up, to our, up to our rear view mirror there, see how long that takes. All right, well, I'm back. So that was about a good 30 minutes running the mic. Um, got a dark, dark car here, but uh, I went ahead and uh, put it right there. You can see it. And, uh, the only place you're going to really see the wires on the other side, and it went up underneath the headliner. So just that little bitty area right there. Uh, I hit it right there. It has a little adhesive. I sh I'm sure I'm going to have to replace it after a while. You know, usually they're not that great, but uh, some double sided tape I'm sure will be good. And then I just kind of ran it up under the headliner. I didn't take the A frame, A pillar off, so I just kind of ran, ran it around it and then down, down through there. And uh, my little thing back back behind there is hiding the extension. I, I bought a 16 foot extension, and uh, I think you're going to need the extension for sure, for sure, if you're uh, doing it from uh, one that has a rear seat entertainment. So that's that's volume 18. I'm sitting out in my uh, driveway, and uh, no, that's Bluetooth. So CD changer is what it shows. And it's uh, showing my telephone number. It up. The telephone number is what was showing there. Uh, for some reason, it's just skipped, skipped to a new song. But um, pretty good. I, I mean, uh, we'll see how it does when we're doing it at highway speeds. But I am, I am uh, pretty impressed so far. And my wife, we're using two phones here, so I can't really call while I'm videoing. But I called my wife. She called me. Said she was able to hear me really good. So. Um, yeah, now we got some Bluetooth in this uh, in this Toyota Sienna 2005 XLE Limited. It doesn't have Bluetooth until now. It just has the um, just has the regular old uh, you know the uh, up and down seek and volume. It doesn't have it. Another 2006 has had the Bluetooth here. Uh, but let's see if we skip another song. And uh, I don't know what happened. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sounds like she's got Alan Jack Johnson or something. But uh, control everything from here. I was able to answer the phone this way, hang up the phone call this way. Really easy, simple, simple installation. Like I said, I didn't have to take out that rear quarter panel. So um, I'm going to write a review on uh, Amazon, is where I got it from. And um, well, that's Dave Matthews. But um, yeah, but um, really, really impressed so far. 
I'm surprised. I mean, um, we uh, don't necessarily need base thumping. We're hauling around a seven-year-old and a one-year-old in this thing, so just to have the Bluetooth option is it's pretty good. Sounds good to me. I mean, I know others are complaining about it, but it sounds pretty good to me. This is from an iPhone 5S is what it's playing from, so I know other people have had problems with uh, Android and things like that, but um, really good sound quality from that, in my opinion, and uh, I, I want to give it a uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars so far, so um, I recommend you pick it up, ET35 uh, Toyota. Alright, good luck with your install.